this is the Sweet Chef Collection. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money. I will never waste your time with sponsored ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com or click on the Amazon link below. So the Sweet Chef brand line is one I've been meaning to get to for quite some time. And uh, subscriber Bernadette asked me to review it. And finally, I've got the chance to kind of put everything together, put my thoughts together, which took a while. And let you guys kind of know collectively my thoughts on the collection and a little bit about each product. The line features similar ingredients in all of the products. So that's why I decided to review them all together. I've tried all the face masks, but I didn't want to bring out a bunch of used face masks, um, sheet masks. So those also have similar traits to a lot of the lines. So I thought I would just start out talking about the moisturizer first, since it is my favorite product of the entire line. And it is a great moisturizer. I really like to use moisturizers, thicker, thicker ones like this in the evening. And sometimes I'll use it to mix a little bit of retinol with, uh, just to kind of lessen the effect of the retinol. So I really like this moisturizer and uh, I was quite impressed with it. So although the jar package I'm not so, oh, I just made a mess. The jar package I'm not super excited about, but uh, overall it's rather affordable. So this is the full size jar, uh, which retails for $19 and it's 1.7 ounces. You could easily transpot it into an airless jar. Check out nobsbeauty.com, which is probably what I'll do after this review. Um, but the moisturizer feels nicely hydrating. It works well. It layers well. Also, it's hydrating enough for dry skin, but I don't think it would leave your skin feeling super oily if you have uh, skin that tends to be on the oilier side. So other than the jar packaging, that is one issue, and it does contain uh, a couple fragrance ingredients in this one, uh, such as lavender oil as well as citrus yunos, or the yuzu citrus. It's J Japanese. So those give it a very light scent. So if you have very sensitive skin, it's probably best to avoid this moisturizer because of that fragrance, although it does dissipate pretty quickly. And if you don't have sensitive skin, it's likely not going to be as big of an issue. So, um, and thankfully it doesn't have the word fragrance in it, which means like some 200 different ingredients. You know exactly where the fragrance is. If you've had issues with lavender oil or citrus, then probably avoid it. If you know your skin handles those okay, then go for it and give it a try. It's, it's really nicely hydrating and it layers well. So I really like it. I tend to use this in my evening routine because it does tend to leave a bit of a dewy finish on skin. So uh, it has several beneficial ingredients in here, such as palmitic acid, uh, ginger extract, which is in a lot of these products, uh, beet extract, mushroom extract, uh, niacinamide, and turmeric. So it's got some really good ingredients in there and a lot of good hydration ingredients and layers well. So uh, really good value, in my opinion, for the $19. And if you, I think if you go to Sweet Chef and you click on it, I think they'll give you a discount code. So it's worth doing a little bit of shopping or waiting for sales. So uh, the moisturizer, uh, this whole line, my favorite. So I'm going to go from my favorite to my least favorite product of the line. And it's basically for one major issue, and that is the ginger vitamin D mist. So I actually, I like the mist for the most part. So this is the, this is the full size, which is one, no, 2.4, 2.3 ounces. It retails for $17. So for a mist, it's not really expensive, but. I tend to only be able to use this as kind of an essence almost because it applies, it sprays so unevenly. Uh, it tends to spray like in an, almost like a cross, like a, just a stream comes down like that when you're applying it. So it doesn't apply nicely. And then after you spritz, you have to take your hand and make it, make sure it's spread evenly over your entire face. So the nozzle on this is my biggest issue. So if you have another, well, empty sprayer bottle from a product that worked well, you could empty it and put it in there. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with this. But um, anyway, so I really dislike the nozzle. It dispenses terribly. So um, anyway, so in terms of good stuff, it doesn't contain denatured alcohol like a lot of mists do. So that's good. It does contain lavender oil for fragrance. And you're going to find in the Sweet Chef line Every single one of these products has lavender oil for fragrance. Not a ton of it, but every single one of them has that lavender scent and does contain lavender for fragrance. So um, 
yeah, all of the serums all contain lavender oil. This one does. It dissipates uh, pretty quickly, so it's not a huge issue. But if you are sensitive to essential oils and lavender oil, it's probably going to be a pass for the whole line for you. Um, but the mist does contain turmeric, uh, ginger extract, sodium hyaluronate, uh, mallow. So some good hydrating and beneficial ingredients and antioxidants are in there, just like a lot of these. So turmeric is also another ingredient that is in everything. So, and it's a good antioxidant for skin. So the mist, not my favorite product. So next I'm gonna go to the vitamin C ginger shot serum, which is a vitamin C serum. And this is the full size, which is one ounce and it retails for $20. All the serums are $20 for one ounce bottle. And the bottle is a dropper bottle, which is annoying, but easy to find in your collection. So let me, do a pH test of that really quick for you guys. So this contains ascorbic acid for vitamin C. So it does contain vitamin C like it says it does, so that's good. And the essence or the serum has a kind of a gelish texture to it, which is uh, works well in most routines in your serum phase. Uh, so after a moisturizer, uh, you're best applying this. So let's see what the pH of this is. And it looks like it's going to be about five. And it seems like everything I've tested has been five lately. So uh, anyway, so it's got a pH of five, does contain ascorbic acid, also contains turmeric. Uh, it also contains chondrus crispus extract, which is an algae that is good for protecting skin from blue light. And it also uh, forms kind of a physical, very thin barrier on your skin to protect it from pollution. So I'd recommend if you pick this up using this in your morning routine uh, before vitamin C or sun, if not vitamin C, before sunscreen. Uh, and then they don't specify the amount of vitamin C in this either. So I'm not thinking it's a super high amount. Probably I would guess like around two, two to three percent maybe. So personally, when I've used this, I've used another vitamin C serum after it. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but... There's just not a whole ton of vitamin C in it, like it says. But anyway, I think this would be a little bit better vitamin C serum if they've included a few more antioxidants, perhaps vitamin E. Um, thankfully, it doesn't include any denatured alcohol. It does contain lavender for fragrance. And Sweet Chef recommends with all their serums that they be used morning and evening. Personally, if you're going to pick up this, I just use it in the morning. Okay, so let me move on to the next one, which is... Uh, the I have these boxes all wrong, FYI. So I'm going to talk about the beet and vitamin A shot next. Okay, so got that pH test done. So this is uh, obviously contains a little bit of retinol and beetroot. Uh, beetroot is a good antioxidant for skin. It also gives products a red tone to them or a pinkish color. Um, this also contains chondrus crispus and also um, retinol sea berry extract, which is a good beneficial ingredient that contains omegas, which are good for skin and good for hydrating skin. Uh, retinol is in here, although it doesn't specify the percentage of retinol. So again, you have to guess that it's not a ton. Uh, Sweet Chef recommends using this in the morning and evening routines, although with retinol, usually that's something you try to just apply in the, your evening routine. So, um, yeah, so I'll talk about that again towards the end in one second, but it feels very hydrating and it doesn't dry out skin. When you think retinol, sometimes I think dryness, flakiness, this doesn't dry out the skin at all. Although if you're going to pick this up personally, I would recommend just using it in your evening routine and the pH for this one looks to be about six and I made a mess. I always make a mess. Why do I do that? Okay. Sorry, I made a giant mess. Okay. So, uh, also contains lavender oil for fragrance. Not a ton. It dissipates pretty quickly. So, this is decent if you're really looking for something for anti-aging, though. This is not going to be all of it. This is more of a good hydrating serum. Personally, I'd recommend picking out one of the serums and using it in either your morning or evening routine or both. And using a fully well-rounded routine that includes another vitamin C, another retinol. This can't do it all, especially when the percentage isn't specified. That usually means there's not a whole ton of it in there. So still like it, it's decent, but you're still gonna need another retinol 
if you have a lot of issues with fine lines and things like that. Okay, on to the Kale Shot, which is actually probably out of all the serums. I really like it. It's probably my second favorite behind the vitamin C. Um, but this is uh, a vitamin C serum or vitamin B serum with kale in it. Vitamin B is also the word for panthenol, which you see in some products. It's great for hydrating skin and healing skin. And kale is a great antioxidant, and it's full of vitamins and minerals as well. So it's a great ingredient, and you see it popping up uh, more and more often. So they've got that in here, sodium hyaluronate in here, uh, turmeric, eggplant, and also uh, red algae. So we've got some of that blue light protection in here again. Uh, so they've got algae, if you didn't notice, in all of their serums, So, which is good for protecting skin and things like that. So, gosh, I made a mess again. Sorry. Okay. Uh, and then this one also contains uh, lavender oil. This one, to me, honestly, feels the most hydrating out of all of them. And this one also has a pH about five and a half, I would say. And I made a mess again with it. So, in summary, personally, when, I, when these first came out, I thought I could build an entire skincare routine out of the serums and eliminate my vitamin C's, eliminate my retinols, and eliminate other serums. But I really wouldn't try and make a whole skincare routine out of the Sweet Chef. I'd really uh, prefer you guys choose one based on what you think you need a little bit more of in your routine. If you need a little bit more vitamin C, a little bit more retinol, a little bit more panthenol, that's what the road I, I would recommend you choose one of these and kind of work it into your routine and still use your other serums, still use your other creams and uh, kind of just incorporate this in there and perhaps you'll see some great effects from it. Definitely add some good hydration, um, but they just, in my opinion, don't contain a significant amount of each vitamin that they highlight for you really to substitute it for anything else. So it's a great line. I like the fact that there's not denatured alcohol in there. They don't use a ton of fragrance other than lavender oil. So at least you know what the fragrance is in every single one of these. But, uh, and they're all affordable and okay packaged. I, the dropper bottles annoy me, but they're still pretty well packaged and affordable as well as cruelty free. So I don't know. I kind of thought I would just summarize them all and maybe you guys will pick one that you like, but just don't try and build an entire routine out of it. It's just, it really isn't going to give you the optimal results as opposed to you just picking one that you like and using it and incorporating it into your routine. So anyway, those are kind of my thoughts on the Sweet Chef line. So I'm interested if you guys have tried uh, any of them or all of them and what your thoughts are. If you disagree with me, definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them. I try and get back to everybody as soon as I can. So uh, anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow.